Hello and welcome to my Metal in Swift UI series. In the first video in this series, I just want to quickly talk about why we might want to use Metal. I am using Kronos Group's Vulkan presentation here to make my point, but the reason is that it summarizes a few little talking points. Um, the first point is if we're using Apple for using Mac OS, we may not have a choice. They really only support Metal. They stopped supporting OpenGL a while ago, deprecated it in favor of Metal. Um, we do have Vulkan running under Malkin VK. However, you know, it's really, it's, it's more or less a Metal wrapper for Vulkan. So why not simply learn Metal? So there's that. The way this breaks down is we have, you know, the OpenGL family. And think of this as a, like a difficulty versus um, reward sort of curve. So as we can see, Metal is a little more difficult than um, OpenGL, but has a little more performance. Um, compared to Vulkan, so Vulkan is notoriously difficult and has notoriously good performance. Um, so that's kind of a, another thing to weigh in on is the um, the way I see it, Metal kind of sits in the intersection between OpenGL and Vulkan. Um, Vulkan doesn't really have an easy mode, but Metal does. Okay, so Vulkan doesn't really have a nice function for like, give me a device that works on this system. Well, there are libraries that don't always work. Sometimes they do, but Metal kind of makes this a lot easier, especially with Metal Kit. Um, so you get a little bit more performance. It's a little bit easier to use than Vulkan. So in my opinion, it's a, it's a good middle ground and it's a good way to kind of learn some of the concepts of next generation uh, graphics APIs without, um, without driving yourself crazy. Um, and then the last point I was gonna make, and this is really the, the reason that I'm getting into Metal, is it's fun. Okay, this new um, Apple M1 ARM, you know, processor series has potential, has potential. Um, so there are like a number of things like um, it supports heterogeneous, uh, sorry, heterogeneous uh, computing, which, you know, could have some benefits. So like OpenCL, Open Compute Language could be a, a greenfield area um, for future research and, and such. Um, but also Metal, just a, a simple, easy to use graphics API, which um, is using these insane, you know, Apple GPUs, because we haven't seen, what? The M1, it's just on MacBook Pros, is the most powerful that we have. We haven't seen their full power. We haven't seen an M1 in a Mac Pro. We don't, anyway, I don't want to speculate, but I'm just saying it could, this could be the V8 of um, computing or whatever analogy you want to use. So for those reasons, I like metal and uh, that's what this series is gonna be on. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this series. We are going to dive in and learn the nuts and bolts of next generation graphics APIs. See you in the next one, bye.